Welcome to an updated tutorial on how you can reset your Team Fortress 2 game or any other Steam game to the default settings. Before I get started, I want to make three things clear. First of all, this will not delete your items because your items are linked with your Steam account and not the game itself. Secondly, this will not delete your achievements as well because your achievements are linked to your Steam account. Thirdly, this will reset your game statistics, so beware of that. I will link all of the sources used in this video in the description if you want to learn more about the Steam Cloud. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is exit Steam. But before that, make sure that your Steam Cloud is enabled, and you can do that by going to your Steam settings, going to the Cloud tab, and making sure that this checkbox is checked. Now you can exit Steam. Next, you want to find your remote folder, which is located in the Steam directory. I have my Steam installed in my C drive, Program Files x86, and here it is. Now go to User Data, this is your Steam ID, and go to the Games App ID folder. The App ID for Team Fortress 2 is 440. Now hold down Shift, right click the remote folder, and click on Open Command Window here. In the command prompt, type in PowerShell and press enter. Then go inside your remote folder, click on the address bar and add a backslash with an asterisk at the end. Now copy the address and in the command prompt type in CLC, paste the address in quotes and press enter. If you get an error that access to the path remote slash CFG is denied, then go inside this TFG folder and repeat the same steps. Go inside the folder, click on the address bar, add a backslash with an asterisk at the end, copy this address, go back to the command prompt and type in CLC, paste the address in quotes and press enter. Now go back to your app ID folder and delete the file remotecache.vdf. Now start Steam and try launching your game. The Cloud Sync Conflict dialog should appear. Once the dialog is open, don't click on any option. Go to the App ID folder and delete all of the files in it. If you get an error that the folder is in use, make sure you exit the command prompt. After you delete all of the files in the App ID folder, go back to the Cloud Sync Conflict dialog and click on Upload to the Steam Cloud. The game should then start automatically. Now the last thing you need to do is Alt Tab out of the game, disable your Steam Cloud, return to the game, exit it, exit Steam and delete the App ID folder. Now that your Steam Cloud has been cleansed from sin, it's time to get rid of the game files on your computer. First of all, start Steam again. Go to your Game Properties, click on Set Launch Options, and delete everything that is in here. Now exit Steam again. Press the Windows and R key together and type in REGEDT32 and press enter. Now browse to H key current user, software, valve, source, tf and delete this settings subfolder. Now go to your steam or steam library folder, go to steam apps, common and delete your game folder. Lastly, open up Steam, right click on your game and click uninstall. That concludes a full reset to Team Fortress 2 or any other Steam game. 